Hi, Jeff, the Inspired Actor here. Well, I have great news. Uh, I have been cast in um, a production of A Christmas Carol playing Jacob Marley at Medbrook Theater here in Michigan. It was a totally out of the blue thing, but I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity. And uh, I'm grateful to be performing in front of actual human beings in the room. It's going to be very exciting. And um, I thought it would be really cool if, um, if I shared with you my process. You know, I'm a Michael Chekhov actor. I'm a Michael Chekhov director and teacher. So I thought I would show people as I go how I approach a role, how I create a role using this technique. And right now, this is the very beginning of the process. I've been memorizing for a couple of days um, the part. And um, when I memorize, I like to memorize in dialect. I know a lot of people don't like to do that. But for me, that really helps, um, as Laurence Olivier says, uh, it helps teach my lips to say the words. And if I'm teaching them in dialect, I find it's a lot easier later. And I'm able to hear myself and sort of adjust technically the uh, issues with my dialect. So you'll see me sort of memorizing. Um, I'm also like open to ideas. I, I play around with objectives and feelings and how I'm going to say those words as I do it. I try to really memorize uh, as much as I possibly can. Now, in, in this case, that's especially important because the rehearsal process is very, very short, even for this particular theater. That's because they've been doing this show for 40 years, and a lot of people have been doing their roles for a decade or more, so they don't need a lot of rehearsals. Um, me, I'm stepping into the role for the first time, so I want to be ready to go on the first day of rehearsal. I'm also missing a couple days of rehearsal at the beginning of the process, so that's even more important for me to make sure that I'm ready to go, that I've made strong choices, strong acting choices on the first day so that they don't have to do as much work. Um, and so that I don't have to feel like I'm behind or that I'm trying to catch up. So this is what I'm doing. I'm memorizing right now. And after I'm finished memorizing, um, I hope to show you a little bit more of what I'm planning to do with the process. But right now, it's strictly memorization. Um, also, I, I feel like um, if you memorize, you should really uh, super memorize. And what I mean by that is that um, you have to memorize it so well that you can change it when necessary. So um, I'm going to memorize, 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 and then I'm going to memorize, memorize, memorize some more so that I'm open to changing it if it needs to be changed and it will need to be changed because once I get there in the rehearsal room in front of other actors and they're giving me different data and the director might not like my what I'm doing here or there or want to see more here or there. So I have to be really ready to go um, and change and be receptive to those changes um, in the moment. So that's what I mean by super memorizing so, so that I'm not lost in case uh, something like that changes. I think I've covered everything up to this point. If I haven't, guess what? I'll, I'll come back to you. So um, here I am memorizing. Spirits like myself. No, Ebenezer. Expect the second tomorrow at the same hour and the third the next night when the last stroke of midnight has ceased to vibrate. Look to see me no more. Restless haste. Restless haste. Hi, so uh, I am starting my first day of rehearsal for Meadowbrook's production of A Christmas Carol, and I'm excited. Uh, I'm showing up one half hour early. Actually, I'm I'm super early because that's that's how I roll, but. Uh, uh, I'm called a half hour early 
earlier than everyone else for a costume fitting. And uh, I will have a costume fitting soon. And then I am going to uh, start my first rehearsal as Jacob Marley. And uh, I have I think I've memorized my lines. Um, I probably will need the book for a little while, but uh, I'm getting pretty comfortable off book. And uh, I have done no Michael Chekhov work yet. So um, my status right now is at zero. So the first couple things I'm going to be working on is atmosphere. I'm going to think about uh, the four qualities of movement, particularly with Marley. Um, and uh, I'm going to work on some imaginary body work, which I like to start with, and uh, also try to figure out um, what my psychological gesture is. So that's a lot for me to work on today. I probably won't get to all of it, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, I can get to at least atmosphere because that's the most important thing. I need to figure out what the atmosphere is of each individual scene so that I know that I'm in the same play as everybody else. Um, and I think that's about it. So thanks a lot. Okay, I'm walking to Meadowbrook Theater. And there's a special entrance. It is way better than, than the old one was, that's for sure. Actually, there's more parking here than I remember, too, over the years. It's still very pretty canvas. And some stuff in here is the entrance. All right, well, I am done with my first rehearsal. It was um, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was great to be out there. It was so crowded and the room was so small. So my COVID, uh, my my all my COVID fears started coming up. It was uh, that was that was pretty crazy. Another thing is that I'm the only one who's not on book. There's very few. Pe I mean, I started a week late. It's my it's the first time um, I'm doing this show. And a lot of people like like uh, Tom is has been doing Scrooge for twelve years, so it's um, it's been an interesting day as far as you know being the only one on book. Even though I'm off book, I needed the book in order to write my blocking down. And you shouldn't feel bad about that. You you need to write your blocking down and uh, not let your um, uh, your ego get in the way of that. But uh, yeah, I think I've figured out a lot of stuff with my character, which I will uh, talk about when I get home. But uh, it was a great day. Love working. Okay, so uh, it is the next morning. I was exhausted after rehearsal yesterday. It was my first rehearsal in years, so I was extremely tired, I'm going to admit. And, and much to my family's disappointment, Right after dinner, I like went straight to bed. But um, here I am, I'm, I'm gonna show you my script now so that you can see a little bit of, of how I originally blocked the show. And I had a lot of downtime during rehearsal as they worked on group scenes and things like that. So I wanna show you um, uh, the script a little bit. Um, one of the big notes that I had was don't go beyond the center line and that's for uh, lighting purposes. Uh, they, uh, they really don't want you to go beyond the center line because um, if I, I'm, I'm lit in green and, and Scrooge is lit normally and if we sort of cross the streams, it's gonna ruin the effect. So that was the big note here. Don't go beyond the center line. And um, for this character, because he is a ghost and because I feel like he's being, um, he's slowing down. Uh, it's not that he's molding through space. He's trying to sort of, he's trying to mold back 
in a way to keep from being pulled because he has to wander throughout the world. So I feel like molding is a good choice for this character. And, um, and uh, I really was struggling with the atmosphere. So right now I've got, I wrote down a whole bunch of different atmospheres, atmosphere of horror and atmosphere of warning and restless haste and regret and fear and hope and sadness and uh, t uh, terror or terrifying. And um, so ultimately, I think the overall atmosphere of the scene is restless terror. And uh, that can change very easily throughout this process. And then my personal atmosphere is maybe regretful warning. That's just the start. Again, these are just initial notes. And I have all my little, um, I have like crossing center here. And um, let me see if I can find another like actual note. Um, you know, fretful cry, shakes, shakes. I wanted to, that's in the stage directions, but I needed to hit that. I already tore my script. How do you like that? First day of rehearsal. Um, uh, and then I had, uh, be a foot in front of the window here. That's an, that's an important, um, uh, uh, blocking note. So I'm writing down my blocking. I was kind of doing this in a bunch of different ways. I, I was thinking, you know, in terms of, uh, archetypal gesture, like rip and fall and, well, that's not it, uh, and caressing and pulling and pulling and pushing. And those are just things that I'm trying to explore, trying to kind of figure out. Um, and then I have uh, Ebenezer Scrooge, uh, let's see, I have balancing, balancing, rising. Those are the three sister sensations of feeling. I think uh, this might be really helpful. And um what else did I do? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, flying, falling, and of course, um, yeah, let's see. I think that's all I was working on was, was archetypal gesture and three sisters and a little bit of atmosphere and personal atmosphere. Oh, and some contracting and expansion, which is, uh, which is also important. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working on expanding maybe here. If, and that's sort of if I can't think of anything right now, any kind of archetypal... If I can't think of any uh, like archetypal gesture or something for that moment, maybe maybe just jotting down expanding might help. But there is no you know right or wrong way to do this. the The point of it is so that you can give yourself a few avenues to explore during rehearsals, and that's and that's what I'm going to do. So I wrote down these different kind of approaches, and maybe I'll work on pull you know the archetypal gesture one one way through, and then I might work on three sisters another way through until I find something that works. Remember, you only need one tool to make it work. So uh, that was my first day of rehearsal. I've got another rehearsal for one whole hour today. They have a matinee. That's why uh, they have abridged rehearsals during the day. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Totally different character. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, well, that was a very stressful drive into work. I love driving in Detroit. Uh, I, I missed it, actually. It's always an adventure. So today is the second day of rehearsal. We're not really doing some of my major parts. We're really just working on um, the party scene in which I am a guest. And um, I'm really focusing on trying to differentiate him between my other two characters. That's the goal. Uh, for today's rehearsal. Um, I don't have really much else to report since uh, since last I reported in. Um, I have been memorizing more and kind of working on those things that those notes that I jotted down with the uh, falling and the and the, uh, the the rising and the and the uh, balancing and and all that stuff. So um, that's what I've been working on and I hope to show you a little bit of what I've been working on from my home soon. So I just finished a uh, rehearsal and uh, it was an easy rehearsal, as I said before, it's only a one hour rehearsal. So uh, I uh, I was playing a party guest at, at Fred's, um, that's Scrooge's nephew's house uh, during the Ghost of Christmas present segment of the play. And overall, I think it went pretty well. The atmosphere of a party is pretty, pretty simple to play. Um, you know, uh, frivolity, um, lighthearted fun. Um, so that's a great atmosphere to use and just, just, uh, trying to embrace that. 
and uh, trying to make this character a little different, maybe putting his center up in his head, but not in like a thinking way, but in a light, like all the thoughts are just escaping his head all the time. So uh, I'm playing with that. I don't know if it's going to work yet, but until the director says otherwise, I'm going to move <laughs> move forward with it and uh until i say otherwise too if i feel like it's it's a bad choice i'll i'll change it too but that's where we're at and tomorrow i got more stuff to to do so uh i'll talk to you then All right, so I'm on day three of rehearsal. Today we are reviewing some Marley stuff and also working on some um, some stuff. I have a very tiny part where during the Ghost of Christmas Future sequence, I play one of the merchants who's talking about his funeral or Scrooge's funeral and reluctantly are saying they might go, but they're not sure if they will. They're not really broken up about it. So uh, everyone knows that part, but um, it's uh, really not very many lines. It's not very much time on stage, but you know, my job, I feel like as an actor is find the fun of exploring this other little tiny um, this tiny role, this little piece of art, as Chekhov would say. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I feel like um, there's a strong, uh, because it's a very stylized part of the show, the way this show actually is working. Um, he, uh, Terry, who is the director, is asking for us to kind of move slowly through it. But there's two ways of moving slowly through it. There's molding, which is kind of what I feel like Marley is doing. And then there's floating. And I feel like these guys are definitely floating through space. So it's very different. Um, so, yeah. Uh, one of the things that struck me um, yesterday that I didn't mention was, uh, and I was talking to my wife about it, was was just the, the joy in the room. There's a lot of joy, um, a lot of uh, happiness about, you know, yes, returning to theater after COVID, everyone's especially joyful. But I get the feeling that they're joyful even... If COVID never happened, they're just very happy to be returning to the show. A lot of people uh, consider it to be sort of the thing that gets them through the year, I think, or or maybe just something that they really look forward to for the year. So um, uh, you can just sense the joy by the other actors from the other actors when you're in the room as we're, as we're working. So uh, and many people have been doing it for maybe decades and they still find joy in in exploring this show every year in fact i was talking to tom the guy who's playing scrooge and he's like this is such a great opportunity for me you know to be able to explore a role like this year in year out every year and to return to it every year and, and try to dig a little deeper every year i think that's that's a great attitude and a great way of approaching um, playing a role like this, especially in an institution like A Christmas Carol is at Meadowbrook. So it's um, it's been a real pleasant experience so far. Uh, today, I'm uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing that and I'll be covering some um, choreography and, and working on Marley again. So I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, well, I am finished with my third day of rehearsal, and I've had a really, really great time. Um, I'm <clears throat> maybe a little hoarse. I need to work on that feeling of ease with Marley. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm, I'm getting it, and I'm able to finally um, stop focusing on like where do I go, <laughs> uh, what where's, you know, where am I lifting here? Where am I making noise there? And starting to actually feel like I'm beginning to work on some checkoff stuff. You know, I have all these great notations, but uh, I haven't really been able to really work on them because uh, so much of this is a tech show and a tech part where you kind of have to incorporate a lot of things. Today, I got to wear my chains and they're beautiful and they're so heavy and they're so hot. So I'm going to have to really work on that. Um, and then we did uh, umbrella stuff today. Um, there's a, there's a, um, the, the conceit is in the future. I guess everyone has black umbrellas. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's the way the, um, the, the staging, the stylized staging of, of, of uh, the future se sequence. So um, working on that kind of technical stuff and working on that character that I was talking about. Um, 
in the midst of all that, actually, I was really able to work on some checkoff stuff with that part. So, um, yeah, it's it's been a real, real joy working with this group. And uh, I look forward to more rehearsals in the future. I get to take tomorrow off. Uh, I'll be back on Saturday. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you.